Hey guys, in this video I wanted to take a minute to talk to you all about uh, how to gain access to an unknown NAE or NCE. Uh, if you have an older device that is in your uh, supply, you know, if you have some spares of these devices laying around that you have forgotten the IP address that's in them or, you know, you just you never had it in the first place, in this video what I'm going to do is actually show you a few steps uh, that uh, will give you the information necessary to access the NAE or the NCE uh, and once you gain access to it of course you will be able to add it to your uh, Metasys network. One of the things that you're going to need for this uh, little trick is hyperterminal. I know uh, some of you old school guys out there if you fooled around with hyperterminal in the past for various things you may be familiar with it uh, but that is something that you can get free off of the internet and it is a, a very powerful tool still and it is something that works great. Uh, I know that uh, there are various tools out there from Johnson Controls that will allow you to access an unknown device but Hyperterminal works just fine to give you the information that you need so uh, just follow along with uh, some of the basic steps and you should be able to gain access to your device. Okay, what we have here is a standard printer serial cable that is plugged into the uh, serial port on the NCE. There's two on the uh, NAEs. The NAE55s have two of those, and you should be able to plug it into the one on the right, I believe. I don't remember the number, but the one on the right should uh, work. And, of course, we have that cable plugged into our... Uh, laptop as well and if you have multiple devices of the same type you know NCE 25s and AE 25s uh, if you will look in your SCT backup or to one of the other devices uh, it should be uh, it should have under the uh, configuration tab uh, it should give you the baud rate for the device uh, let's under the communication tabs I'm sorry and under the communication tabs, it'll give you that baud rate, and that is a very important thing to know. Once again, if you do not have the correct information in hyperterminal as far as the baud rate, uh, it is not going to communicate correctly. Uh, so you need to make sure that the value for the baud rate is entered into your device. Here we have hyperterminal opened up, and what we're going to do is to set up a new connection. Of course, this is going to be connecting on COM port 1 on my laptop. So I select that from this drop-down window, and I press the OK button. And in this drop-down here, this is where I have got to select the baud rate for the device that I'm trying to connect to. Also, this very bottom tab, I need to select this to None. And then once... All this uh, is done, we should be able to, uh, you know, power up our device. So now that we have that completed, what we are ready to do now is to put power on our device. If you have configured everything correctly, once you restore the power to the NAE, if you watch your hyper terminal screen, as you see here, it will actually spit out a lot of the internal settings of the device. Okay, there's quite a bit of information that it will uh, scroll through, but eventually it will open a uh, section where it tells you the name of the device as well as its IP address. It also gives you a little bit of information about some of the network settings within that device as well. So we will let this run for just a few moments and eventually we should see uh, the name and IP address. Okay guys, this is the part of the screen that we're interested in. This is where we have our IP address as well as some of the other network information that we need to gain access to the NAE. 
if uh, you know we got to this point we should be able to use this information to gain access to the configuration of the device once again this is the information that you will need to be able to uh, gain access to the configuration of your device uh, what you will need to do is to go into your computer network settings and go into the properties for your LAN connection double click on this one here and you will actually need to set your IP address for your laptop uh, within the same range as the IP address of the NAE or NCE. If you don't do this, you will not be able to gain access to the device. So once you have that information entered here, you should be able to browse into the configuration screen and set up your device. Once HyperTerminal has given you the IP address for your NAE, you should be able to uh, use Internet Explorer or the launcher tool and browse into that device. Now that's going to depend on the version of Metasys which is in that device. I know 6.0 and newer will use the launcher tool and uh, the, a lot of the previous versions will just still use Java through uh, Internet Explorer. And you've got to remember that once you have that IP address for that NAE, you will need to set up a mini network with your laptop using a router and just the only things connected really will be your laptop as well as the NAE and you will need to go into your network settings of your laptop and actually set it within the same IP range as that NAE. If you do not do that, you will not be able to browse into that device. That's a critical step, so be sure to uh, you know set your IP address within the same range as the uh, you know as your uh, NAE and at that point you know through Internet Explorer or the launcher tool depending on the uh, version of Metasys which is installed you should be able to browse into the device you should at that point be able to get your uh, device online with your ADX network once you entered the uh, IP address for your server and uh, you know you should be good to go Anyways, guys, I hope the video was helpful to you. Uh, if it is, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Also, drop me a comment with any questions down below. And as always, thanks for watching.